Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we'll be doing a weekly spread in my horizontal planner. So let me pull out those pages and we'll get started. Today we'll be doing a rainbow theme, which I've seen a few planner babes do, which I'm pretty excited about. I've been wanting to try this um, layout, so I have everything ready to go. I pulled stickers from a gazillion different books, guys, like every book I had. So. Unfortunately, um, it would be hard for me to tell you which stickers came from where, but um, you know, just a way to show you that you can probably get this theme done with your own sticker book collection. So that'll be a um, you know, it's kind of a benefit that you can um, make this happen no matter what sticker books you have. So um, laying down my uh, to-do list checklist stickers first just to kind of get a little structure going um, I cut this one because I didn't like how it hanged over at first but then I moved some stuff around and then I was like oh, okay maybe I'll keep it so that's why um, you'll see me finagling with that trying to get it to um, straighten out now I'm just laying in the first layer which is the pink layer um, just adding in a few things to kind of tie everything together. I love um, the little circles. Like I have a, a lot of those little tiny circles colored in the different books that I never really use because I don't tend to use them for lists or anything. So this was a perfect application. I could place them wherever I wanted on the, on the spread and um, kind of tied together no matter what. So that was great. And now I am continuing down the page with the circles. Um, I'm not sure which planner babe did this first. I've seen quite a few iterations of this, so I'm sorry that it, uh, I might not be crediting the first idea person on this. It might be Mom Run Craft, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, but she is actually really, she always comes up with brilliant ideas, so she's very inspirational. So now, yeah, I am, um, again, just adjusting this list. Um, you're going to see me move that quite a few times as I start to layer in stickers. Um, this little area is, it's a little bit awkward only because you'll see I have, um, have that cute, it, I don't know, if it's like a binder clip sticker, but it just wasn't working with some of the layout that I was doing. So I uh, will be moving things around quite a bit. And then I also wanted a symmetry down below, which you'll see in the yellow coming soon. So again, it'll move. Um, but for now, I'm just trying to lay it in there. And I do have one major thing I know that is due for work, uh, or my freelance, I should say, on Wednesday. So I wanted to put in that work sticker and I found the perfect uh, color tie, which was great. I pulled a bunch of stickers for this just because I didn't know what I was going to need and how much space I was going to have. So some stickers did not get used and um, a couple of stickers, not a couple, maybe maybe one or two went to the sticker graveyard um, just for me trying to put it in and then moving it around and it just didn't work out. Yellow was really actually pretty hard to find in my sticker books. I I had to go through quite a few just to get the basics in there and um, a lot of times the yellow wasn't quite the right shade like some were a little bit lime green yellow so I was lucky to find enough to fill this space in the end but it was it was tricky. I'm loving how full it's getting on the side. It's really coming together and making me feel happy just looking at it and I'm really excited about this yay um, sticker I really love it however it was just a little bit big for that spot so here's where I had to do some moving again of those checklists and you'll see that 
uh, caused me to actually have to get rid of that little extra heart that I cut off before because I move it one too many times and it it gives it gives way <laughs> sticker graveyard it is but um, it's not gonna stop me from trying to align it here and you'll see and there it goes <laughs> So let me just trim it straight since it wasn't straight before and I was just trying to make it work and we'll just deal with four hearts. I really wanted to use that. Um, it's like a faith sticker. It had some encouraging words, but it was just a little too big for that space. So um, yeah, I had to leave that on the sticker sheet. But I did want something else, so um, I pulled up colorful boxes, and now uh, I'm just trying to get that to fit to where it feels right and doesn't um, obtrude onto that work sticker that I, I know I'm going to need. And yeah, one more time, just moving that yay so it's uh, better centered in that area and also the label. I was going to do the same up there, but then I was like, I don't want to deal with pulling up that sticker because I really like it and it's the last one I have, so um, we're just going to leave it. Okay, on to the um, cool tones on the opposite side of the sheet. Um, I had quite a few of these aqua colored stickers, so I pulled those instead of a um, lime green because most of my sticker books did not have lime in there or even spring green. I must have used them or they just didn't have an abundance. And I found that Frye sticker, which worked out nicely since the green tone is on Friday. Another cute quote, laugh big, worked out nicely. I am using a lot more space on um, the spread than I normally would, um, just with the quotes and all the um, decorative stuff in the center. So I don't have as much room to write as I normally would, but hopefully that won't be a problem. We'll see how the week goes. Another sticker there that went to the sticker sheet to stay. I'm adding in some of these little circles that I hardly ever use, but came in handy here, as well as some hearts. I also found quite a few hearts in the different shades, so that was nice, kind of continuing in with my hearts themes that I've been using the last at least three weeks or so in during February. And then the last color is this like deep cobalt blue. Um, not purple. Again, that was another color. I was thinking of doing purple, but I couldn't find enough stickers to really support a true purple. So um, I went with this shade and I actually found quite a few um, stickers randomly in different books. So it worked out. Kind of move some things around. I got a few faith stickers in this spread, which I am happy about. I like to have that, um, you know, constant reminder. Happy place. So I thought down below I would um, just kind of finish it off in gray since there's that gray box there, just to tie that in a little bit. I couldn't find very many stickers with the gray though, so. Um, I'm, I might have to go on the hunt to see if I can find a few more just to make this 
end box feel right. I also saw this really cute like rainbow quote which I wanted to add down here in the corner but um, even with the trimming I'm going to trim it and try to lay it in it just didn't feel quite right centered there on the box which is what I would normally do so I'm going to move that around and do a little off-center layering which um, sometimes works sometimes doesn't I like to usually cover the entire gray box but um, yeah, I'm going to move. Gonna move that sticker around. Yeah, that feels better. And we'll just trim that down. So I thought maybe I would use a colorful box in this area if they had a gray one. And I started thinking they're probably only going to have silver. So I looked in the new colorful boxes just to see what they had. And they have like a green gray. It wasn't quite right. So I kept looking. This is the box or the sticker book that I found the gray in originally. So I ended up just pulling everything that I could from there to kind of help fill out that spread and um, yeah that, and that today wasn't quite working either so I've just pulled up another sticker that says important which is actually better for me because that's where I usually put my weekly to do's or things that I want to remember. So yeah, I'm just looking through, see if there's any other grays I missed, and I don't think I did. So I think we're done, friends. Um, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, and go ahead and leave a comment down below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you'd like to see more of my videos. Thanks again for watching, and until next time, bye!